In this video, we will be looking at how to mount a FlexFit actuator on an existing gas valve. The first step is to remove your existing jack shaft mod motor and any associated wiring. Also, remember to take note of your fully open and fully closed valve positions. So now that you have removed your jack shaft mod motor, it's time to install the FlexFit servo. There are three parts that you will need to do the installation. You'll need the FlexFit servo. You'll need the coupling that will go between the servo and the gas valve. You can get a better view here. You also need the brace and the, or the mounting bracket that is supplied by Preferred Utilities. First step in mount, mounting the bracket will be to mount these two U-bolts to the gas train. And then you'll mount your coupling right on top. You can do this on the side, just like that. The next piece that would need to be mounted is this coupling. Now the coupling has two ends, one with a flat bar and one with a slot. This slot will be going directly onto your gas valve and the flat bar side will go directly onto the servo. And that's how you would mount the servo on. And this is how it should look once installation is complete. The next step will be to wire the servo into your control panel and then to complete the servo setup on the FlexFit LCD keypad. For more information, you can check out our video on the FlexFit servo setup and wiring.